When I was a kid, I was scared of a lot of stuff. I mean, even now I'm scared of a lot, but naturally fear becomes less about monsters under the bed, and more so about things that actually exist. Like the man living behind your shower curtain. Or the stranger who watches you sleep at night through your blinds. And I'm not even including what you see when you take Benadryl. The horror movies I was allowed to watch as a kid were probably pretty common for some of you, and probably uncommon for others. Some of these films scared the hell out of me so bad that I wouldn't be able to sleep even if someone else was in the bed with me. I don't get the same visceral reactions to those old movies, but I've changed as a person. What gets you scared? What movies can you still no longer handle as an adult? Ah uh, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, there is tree work being done around apartment and my dog keeps making noise, so ignore that background noise if you can. It's 2008. I'm rather young, not quite a teenager, but I'm allowed to watch a PG-13 movie. Not out of the realm of possibility because I've watched A Nightmare on Elm Street at this point. <laughs> if you want to go crate? Okay. Prom Night. The reboot, of course. This fucked me up more than Nightmare. Why? <laughs> Monsters never scared me. In fact, I was actually kind of obsessed with them. I loved monster movies because, first of all, they're awesome. Somebody designed that thing and created it. I was more enthralled with the talent than the concept that they were going to eat my brains or suck my blood. Zombies were awesome and still are, but vampires never really spooked me, especially because vampires are always hot. It was the real threats that scared me then and scare me now. Um, okay. I don't know if any of you really remember the Prom Night remake, but I still do. I remember it very well. All I had to do was watch it once for it to scar me for life. I think it's the fact that Prom Night centers around a vulnerable young girl who's being stalked by an insane psycho. For added backstory, this psycho also murdered her entire family. I had nightmares about the latter, plenty of times thanks to this dumb, cheesy PG-13 horror movie. Other than her entire family being brutally slaughtered, what really did it for me is that this killer is seemingly indestructible. Yeah, I know Friday the 13th and Nightmare are almost exactly the same. I mean, to be honest, I hated how old they looked and they felt somehow even cheesier than this basic and dull reboot. Give me a break, I was young. I've always loved dreaming and yet prom night gave me nightmares while Nightmare ironically could not. I could just keep going on and on about how much Prom Night fucked me up, but the obvious point here is that killers are plentiful. A dime a dozen. All it takes is one wrong move. Huh. 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 Huh.